And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we're going to play a GeoGuessr game of Finland. And in this game, we're going to do ST1 stations in Finland. It's the petrol stations, uh, 213 of them from Finland. And it says here, probably all that are covered by official Google content. No 30 third party footage included. So we're going to get into this game. We're going to do this one as a no time limit moving, panning, zooming allowed challenge to play along. Link for those of you that want to play along in the description below. And by the way, I'm going to ask the question if anybody wants to see me or play alongside of me, I should say, in a live stream play along. If there's any interest in that, let me know or let us know in the comments down below. And with that said, we're going to get into it. ST1 stations in Finland. So I wonder how many of you get your petrol from these ST1 stations on a, ooh, looks like, ah, there we are. So uh, we got a 95 and 98, maybe. Um, anyway, ooh, this is as close as we're going to get. So we're going to have to head out to the road. And what sign? There it is. Automati. Itala Hamelina. Tampere. Okay, so Itala. There's a shell and the ST1 Hamelina Automat. So I'm guessing. This is where we are. See if the price changed. Ooh, the price went up a little bit on this one. Um, yeah, so there we are. Um, okay. Let's see, west to the roundabout. Okay, you go in the actual. I think we are I'm guessing here and there we are six yards 5,000 points the st1 Hamalina location These things are off the road a little bit here I wonder what that st1 stands for we've got the Michelin man Lapin okay so Tire center, tire source. That's some big tires there. Um, I guess this is how close we're going to get. So let's come out to this road and see what clues are here for us on this road. The price of petrol or gasoline, diesel, 180. 95, I guess that's what probably most people get. Soden Kaila Kemiyarvi Tuntori Altu. Soden Kaila is. Oh, it's been a while. I was thinking of Senayoki. Further north, uh, here's Kemayarvi. All right, so maybe we're on a road like the E63. All right, so we head down or heading north. I said head down, we head north. Um, oh, an interesting, some interesting things I share on X, formerly known as Twitter, is uh, today I shared a map. So check me out on X or Twitter of um, the countries in Europe where kids leave the house at what age. And I think Finland was one of the youngest where folks leave at like 20, 21 years old. Um, then we've got uh, Soden Kaila. There we are. So looking south. So, um, but anyway, 20, I think all the Nordic countries were like 20, 21, Italy, like 28, 30. I think it was like Croatia was 33, age, age 33 when uh, kids move out of their parents' home. And what's interesting is my take was how much does it have to do um, 
with the sun or winter. Everybody's in. I just know from a personal perspective, when it's winter, the kids are in the house. Everybody's in close quarters. It gets to be a little chaotic, uh, more chaotic than the summer when the kids are outside. You know, the sun's out, different things going on. So I'm, I'm curious as to why that is. I'm sure there's a lot of um, reasons why, but it was interesting that this person that shared it said is the further south you go in Europe, the um, longer kids stay in their parent parents' home. So I just want to hear your thoughts and perspective on that. Because it's, uh, you know, if you've got kids in their 20s, are they at home? Or are they making their way independently of you all? So I know some of you are young. Are you still living with your parents? Are you in your parents' basement as you play this game? In some respects, I wish I was. It's always enjoyed my parents um, living with them. So I don't know. It's an interesting topic. One that uh, you know, thought to bring up here. Let's see what everybody, everybody's thoughts, personal experiences. It's a cool thing about exploring. Exploring the world, exploring different cultures. All right, so we have got to be thinking. I thought we were on this road, but I think. I see the name of this road. Ratsuti. 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 And here we are, next to the post office, I think. Um, there we are, two yards, 5,000 points. Soden Kaila, thank you to that van. Oh, look at this, we're right at a truck station pump. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. So, um, let's get a good picture of this one. There we are. That's the one where we probably want to be, probably, that was a good picture, I think, right? Yeah, truck station. Let's see how far over we can get. Cody Pizza, the old sign. Wash and drive. So a lot of car, 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 not even having <laughs> trouble with the English today um but yeah the car wash the car wash somewhere around here this almost looks like i would say and i know it's different the shell station kind of in the united states kids on their bike looks like there we're at a traffic light and uh interesting google street view coverage here but anyway we've got the 213 the tampere to turku road it is 211 for the petrol, for the gas. Okay, so Forza, Forza. The 282, Okay, so here's a 213. Uh, let's just keep going here a little bit. Okay, so where's that road? E63, so Loima, Loima. Is this where we are? Yeah, maybe we're the ST1 Loima. We haven't been in this town, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's the Killer Holly. I'm not sure what that hall is. But we are at the petrol station facing southwest. There's a Cody Pizza there, so I think we're right about there. <coughs> and we were facing southwest. So why was I going southeast? That's the mistakes. I don't edit these games, folks. So you see me making mistakes. Uh, simple, simple, fundamental mistakes. I feel like I'm talking to the team I coach, my youth uh, football, soccer team. It's like it's focusing on the fundamentals and 
I'm not even adhering to fundamentals of the GeoGuessr game of Finland. Anyway, get off to the fourth round. We got some leaves turning. I'm so sure all the leaves are off the trees at some point by now. It is the 28th of October, 2024. The other question I have for you is that ever do people, folks in Finland, celebrate Halloween and do the trick or treating thing? I'm curious to know if that uh, is um, something that happens. So we've got uh, 155 and the scan burger. Okay. Scan burger. We got the five and the 13. McKelly. McKelly. Five and the 13. Okay. Should have got to be around here somewhere. Rattenkila. 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 Is here. As I'm staring it's right in the center of the screen. So we got to be around here somewhere. Um, ST1. Name of this road. Okay. Ah, there it is. The ST one. I was looking for like more, not the blue, but like the gray. So uh, there we are. Vanha. Vanha. Otavanti. Vanha Otavanti. So we're looking south. Uh, or is it Cody Pizza? This one is Scanburger. Um, and that's where we are. So there we are, 16 yards, 5,000 points, and we get off to the fifth and final round of the petrol stations, the petrol stations, and there we are with the petrol station in a wood town. Looks like a dry summer whenever this picture was taken on the Google Street View. Um, yeah, it just reminds me, I don't know why it reminds me of Shell, but it does, like the, the color scheme. Maybe... Maybe it's the red and the yellow and the gray that makes people want to just flock to buy petrol or gas. I don't know. But uh, yellow seems to be a lot in um, petrol or gas stations, at least in the United States. Look at that. Talk about petrol or gas. we got a guy with um, walking sticks getting ready for ski season. But look at this old Ford Is that a, no, pickup truck. Like another old car up there as well. Older, I guess. But look at that, some American cars here. Uh, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, nope, 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 nope. I, I'm starting to explore and seeing different things. And do I see an old station wagon? Look at an old Chevy 1980s station wagon. Chevrolet. Look at that. So you could sit here. I don't know if these things. I, were a thing in Finland, but when I was a very young kid in the late 1980s, so I'm dating myself here, you could sit here in this front seat as a kid, <laughs> you could sit in this middle row, and then in the back, they had a seat facing backwards that you could sit in. Uh, probably not all too safe, but uh, wow. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen a station wagon like that of the 1980s sort anywhere on any GeoGuessr game of all the thousands of games that I played. So that's that's a unique one. That's a unique find. I'm also thinking about maybe doing a game where I find things, like, you know, do a live stream where somebody like yourself is watching this. Are, those, are they twins? Are they just getting ready for Christmas, the holidays? Um, is to do like a, you know, like a hunt, a find of, um, oh, I'm Russia here, that's crazy, um, where you tell me, hey, find uh, a, a station wagon. 
and then I've got to find it. Do something like that. Anyway, Vasa. Vasa is where we are. We are at the intersection. There's the water to the west. And Wolf. Wolfswagen. What? Wolfswagen. Here near the University of Vasa. Anybody attend that university or attending the university? Um, what is this one here? This is Netflix Katan or on 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 on. So oh, we're down here. There it is. West Coast Startup. Entrepreneurship Society Headquarters. I like it. I like entrepreneurs and entrepreneurial spirits starting your own business. Um, all right. So we're here. How did I lose the... Oh, we're down this road, I think, right? Yeah, we're down this road. So the petrol station is right here. Okay, which makes sense with the wood, wooden structures like this on the west coast, because I think that's likely, right? More than likely to happen. To have these types of structures, we're in between the two buildings, so I think we're about there. Vasa, Finland, is the fifth and final round, and we miss a perfect score by one point. So, great game. This is a great game. Uh, credit to OH2MP. I'm almost feeling like I say should say OHIO, which is what they say at Ohio State for... Anyway, that's a different story, but OH2MP, um, long-time viewer on the channel, made plenty of maps. Uh, great map. So, uh, thank for that. And if you have any requests or games you want me to play, let me know in the comments down below or send me an email. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.